Hi, okay, so I filmed this entire wrap up already and I realized once I was rewatching it that I kind of had a spoiler of one of the books that I read in it. So, redo, which is good because I actually wanted to um, show this record really fast. Vanessa at Chbosk Um just this is for you specifically. You just did a favorites video where you showed a record and I mentioned the Head and the Hearts record, so I just wanted to show you. Um, they made like a I don't know what it's called. They had two two records for their album, and I just wanted to show you. So it's like a blue clear. It doesn't really like do very much justice via the eh, problems. Oh my gosh, this is a joke. And then they have. Um, sorry, this is like totally not interesting, probably to anyone. But I just wanted to show you Vanessa because I mentioned it in the comment. And the other one is like a yellow color. So yay. Yay for pretty fun records. Okay, so anyways, um, ap April, April um, wrap up. The first book that I read this month um, was Anne Patch. No, Anne, yeah. State of Wonder by Anne Patchett. I gave this book four out of five stars. Um, that's the story of Marina, who is a like researcher, doctor type person in a, for a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company. And her research partner or like her office partner had gone previously to the Amazon to find this woman that works for them and then they get a message at the very beginning saying that this gentleman has died and so she is basically going to find out like how he died but also because the company that she works for like really wants to find out what's happening so she kind of gets like sent to replace him a little bit um and it's really fun it's um it's, it's really fun. I cried. There's a part of this book towards the end that made me cry. I cry quite often though, so don't like take that too seriously or anything. Um, I absolutely love these olive editions. They're really, really nice to read and like the font, I don't know. I don't want to like, I just love it. I love these editions. Um, so yeah, this was really, really good. I really recommend it. If you have not read Anne Patchett, um, I know Jenny and I feel like everyone has mentioned it, but Jenny at Jenny King did um, like a little video exploration, author exploration on Anna Padgett. So I'll link her below um, so that you can go watch that if you want to. I personally haven't watched it because I'm really, really behind on videos, but I've been told that it's really good. So I'm gonna post it in my description box. Um, the next thing that I read was Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I gave it three out of five stars. I thought it was okay. Um, yeah, I will say that it was super addictive. Um, when I picked it up, it was, like, really hard to go to bed because I just, like, needed to know what happened next. So it was definitely, like, really, if you really like fast-paced, like, fun adventures, um, you already know what this book is about because it's been on the internet for months, so I'm not going to tell you. Um, I did not like the writing in this book. Uh, I thought it was, like, very repetitive, not in the sense, oh, the puppy wants to go outside, just give me two more minutes. Um, I thought it was repetitive, not, like, in wording specifically, but in, like, chapter structure. Um, so, like, each chapter... It's like, you know, there's a problem and then like, oh, I'm trying to solve the problem. And then at the end, like, I know where to go or, and then I knew where the key was. Um, I marked a couple of examples, I think. Let me, I marked examples, but I don't know if they're like real examples. As I raised my blade, the avatar spoke. Maybe it's the way that I'm reading it in my head is like lame, but um, let me see. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I don't want to like spoil anything if you haven't read the book. Let me see what this one is. Yeah, I also knew now the hiding place of the key. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, like, annoyed me. It's like you need to, like, put some kind of, like, and I get it because it did make me want to keep reading it, but it just, I don't know. It just kind of annoyed me. Um, but it was fun. Like, it was really fast. I just, like, will never reread this book because, like, once I know what it, it's not, like, a well-written novel where, like, I would want to reread it. Like, maybe I missed something. Um, I did like the message, though, too, about, like, how we're treating our environment and our world and how we're treating it like crap. Um, so I did like that message that was in here. At least I that's how I read it, but I don't know if it's because I think that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I would never want to live in this world. I would never want to live in the Oasis. Like, I don't like technology already, and this just made me, like, feel gross and grimy and, like, hate video games kind of. So, when she probably wasn't going for it, but that's how I read it. Um, and then the next thing that I read was Fatal, which is, like, a – and this is volume – or book one, Death Chases Me by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. Um, this is – uh, okay, so it's like this guy, not this guy, I guess, 
this guy is like burying his godfather and then this like mysterious woman comes up and then she's like oh da 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 and then it kind of like goes back in time and describes like her it's like a noiry like save the girl type thing with some magic which you could probably tell because of the octopus hands or whatever octopi legs are called um yeah it was pretty good I gave it three out of five stars I'm going to um like continue on in the series um but it wasn't like something that I feel like like I'm not gonna buy the next one soon or anything because I'm broke as a joke and I don't really like feel the need to buy the next one the next thing that I spent most of the month on was Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie Adichie uh this book uh, it was so, so, so good. It was so good. Um, it's the story of Ifemelu, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Obinze, and they're basically like young in love in Nigeria, and then they go to college, and there's like these big strikes, so the teachers basically like stop working. So um, Ifemelu goes to, um, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, she goes to America to finish her degree or, like, to get her degree. And Obenze stays in Nigeria, and the plan is for him to meet her in America later. But then that does not work out, and they, you know, shit happens, basically. And I thought it was so beautiful. So it's, like, this long love story kind of, like, through America and um, Nigeria and, and the U.K. He goes to the U.K. Um, and, yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought, like, the whole, like, perspective of like, a Nigerian woman in America and how everyone, like, treats her and, like, talks to her was really interesting. And I mean, I guess it's, like, only from her perspective, so I don't, like, know, but I thought it was, like, fascinating. Um, I thought, it, yeah, I thought it was really, really good. And even, like, when they're in Nigeria and they're talking about America or they're talking about the UK, like, some of the people are more, like, America-obsessed and some of them are more, like, UK-obsessed. And so they... It, it's just like so interesting. Um, I really, I'm gonna go pick up everything oh, again. Money problems, but like later when I'm buying books again, um, I'm going to be picking something up by her. Like I, or like everything. Half Yellow Sun. What's the? I don't know what the other one is called. But I'm gonna buy it because she's an incredible author. It was written so so well, and the story was so beautiful. Ah, five five out of five stars. If you couldn't tell, um, I'm kind of tired, and I just did this. So I'm a little confused. Um, so yeah, my favorite book this month was obviously Americana, so um, I decided for my giveaway, this is going to be, by the way, probably the last giveaway until I get a job, because, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll see, maybe I'll do one next month, but it depends how much cash I have at the end of the month. So um, I wanted to do my giveaway on this book because this was my favorite book, but I feel like this is really popular right now and everyone kind of has it and I want to give like more people an opportunity to be part of the giveaway. So you can enter to win any one of the books that I read this month. I feel like, is that is that weird? But like I want y'all to read the books that I read, whatever. Um, so if you want to read any of these books or win any of them, um, please comment below with your favorite book this month. Oh, dang it. Um, what your favorite book was that you read this month and then which one of these you would like to win and then I'll do a week from today so next Friday I do have a final Friday so maybe like Thursday night instead of next Friday so it'll be just under a week because um, then I'm going to the wedding so I won't have like as much time so by next Thursday evening if you want to enter and then you can have a chance to win any of those. I don't know if these are on the book depository, and I'm doing it through the book depository because, you know, free shipping. <laughs> uh, so whatever version of State of Wonder they have on the book depository is the one that I will be sending you. Uh, and I did want to do, like, mini, I guess. I do have a TBR for May just because I still have not finished The Shining. I have not finished Game of Thrones. So I do want to read those this month, and then I'm going to treat myself to Persepolis Volume 2 when I'm finished with um, A Game of Thrones. So, yeah, I'm, that's technically, I guess, my Friday reads. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope everyone had a great reading month. Um, I'm going to go watch videos now because I'm really, really behind. Good night.